Well, Windows 10 provides a very improved connection for those cameras and phones that we want to import. You'll probably find a connection like this, the USB cable connection on your camera. And all you have to do is plug it in and Windows will uh, recognize it and help you import your photos to your photo album. In this case, it's recognized I plugged in my Canon. And I click on that and I immediately get these options of how I want to import it. So I'm going to check and say, okay, I want to do it to the photo album. So I'm going to click here. And uh, instead of doing one of the other options. And as soon as I do that, it launches a new photo app from Windows 10. And in a much improved interface, it asks you a couple questions. It says, do you want to do this in case you're just plugging the camera in for another reason? It says where it's going to go to. And it also asks you if you want to delete them from your camera. I'm a little paranoid always, so I never check that. So let's go ahead and start importing. So you'll see in the interface that it's adding it to your collections, and this is organized by months. So if we scroll down here, you'll see previous months and stuff uh, being import that was already imported uh, listed there. But if we go back up, you'll see that the status of the import. If we go over right here, you'll see how many are being done and how far you are away uh, to getting the completion of all your imports. I've skipped to the end here so that you can see it's all done. Gives you a little notification down here in the bottom corner. And you can now go and view everything you've done. Now I'm going to close it down here and show you what happens if I disconnect and reconnect again. Because once I've made that decision, it automatically knows what to do with the camera. It brings up that decision to bring up the app. And I'll get, of course, I'm going to cancel here because it's already been imported. But let's say the next time you want to do something different, you want to change that choice, or maybe you made a mistake, uh, you have to go to your settings. You go down here where it says um, settings. And just type in import, and then it says there's a change of default. We go there, and you'll see the screen here, which changes for all your stuff, DVDs, any removal media type device just about. You can change how it, uh, Windows responds to it. It's a very nice, clean, uh, orderly interface, and you can just drop down here, choose your selection for that particular one, and uh, it'll do that. Now, Windows will probably insert at the bottom the last device that you plug in that they didn't recognize before. So if I scroll down to the bottom down here, uh, I'll find my Canon's been added down here at the bottom. Now you can change your decision here that you made during the import process the first time. So you can choose one of these. Now if you want to do it all over again, you can click, uh, there's no way to say start over except reset the false for everything and click on the save button. So now if I go back, Windows will bring up, and I plug in the camera in again, Windows will bring up the decision-making process again, just like it did the first time. So there you have it, how to import photos from your camera or your phone via USB, and how Windows 10 automatically sets up the import procedure. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.